I was making this video and I got a phone call. Here's my Banshee 02. I took it out today. I uh, ripped it. Fourth, fifth, sixth pops right up. It runs great. Jetting is right on the key. It's a little bit cold, so it was bogging just a little bit. And then once the engine got warm, ran beautiful. I'm going to be taking it apart during the week or whenever I order the back shock for it because the back shock is fried. I'm going to order a carburetor rebuild kit, packing for the silencers, and I'm going to take all the plastics off, the airbox, the carbs, um, and the pipes, and just clean the shit out of it. And clean up my axle, make it shiny again because I'm tired of the rust. Clean up my 69 plate. Repaint this wheel because it, it started to chip. And clean up my, uh, my front bumper. And then I'll have my Banshee back looking like looking beautiful. So I'll make an update video on what I have done to this thing tomorrow. Since right now it's raining and i got to get to work before it gets too late. Here's the O2 blaster. Uh, I had the motor part on that little bench over there. And I needed the, that bench because I was going to build the Predator motor or the KX250 motor. So I said, all right, let me, uh, I'm sorry, it's just the cold weather. Let me um, slap the top end on it because I had the piston and get it get another motor done. So my plan was just to get the motor done and drop it in when I get a chance. Well, last night it was 11 o'clock and my parents had people over there talking. So I was like, all right, why not? So I pushed the blaster in, rolling chassis, wire wheeled all the rust right back off it because uh, there was a little bit of rust from sitting and dropped the motor in in about 15 minutes. Had everything hooked up, had the carb cleaned out, just took off the bowl, went through everything. Everything was good. I rejetted it with a 320 or 310, I forgot. And then within about a half hour after the motor, after I dropped the motor in the frame, uh, I torqued everything down, having everything ready to go, fired it up, fired right up first kick, redesigned head on it, poured it in polished cylinder. As soon as I realized it ran, I took the, the, the pipe and the, the header and the silencer back off, cleaned them up because they were all rusted out and shined it up. As you can see, now, now it's looking good. Clean up the wheels quickly so I could so I took pictures for Craigslist. And then this morning I took it out, went through first through sixth. Every time you shift gears, it pops right up on you. It's got a lot of power. I'm gonna fix the back brakes, that way I will be able to wheelie it. And I'm gonna adjust the front brakes, that way at least the brakes stop a little better. And it's already on Craigslist ready to go. So there you go. Predator five hundred. It's got a couple things that I like about it. And as soon as you hit this button, blue LEDs light up on both sides. Turn on the key. Headlight switch is like glued in place. It's got a vapor on it that doesn't work. Um, transmission's blown. Needs rear swing arm and axle bearings. Needs wheel bearings and brakes all the way around. But it does not look bad. So I'm going to take... Not, I'm not going to take it down to the frame, but I'm going to be repainting the arms black. So I'm basically going to put it up on the stand after the 660 and just take the rear and front suspension off in the motor, clean everything up, paint everything, do all the bearings and bushings that are shot, throw it all back together. And then while the motor's out, it's already got a big bore kit on it. So I'm going to be doing a tranny, fresh rings, uh, reshim uh, re it and relap all the valves, uh, new clutch, basically the whole motor is going to be fresh, new back plastics because these are trashed, and that's about it. But basically, and there's the KX, looks like, looks like I got it sold as is, so that's that. Then I picked this blaster up a couple weeks ago, it's just been sitting next to this blaster. So after I got this blaster done, I was going to do the Predator. Then I realized since the Predator is going to take me three weeks since I'm going to build it in increments because it's a four-stroke, I'm not going to rush it. Let me get the blaster out of the way since it's going to be quicker. So I brought in the blaster. It's got a blown motor. Bought it with a blown motor. It's already been torn down and redone to the frame by the guy before me because he took my tips when he did it, and he did a fantastic job on it. Brand-new turf tamers in the back. Nice, nice wheels in the front. Basically, he was driving it on ice. He let his friend drive it. He didn't come out of second gear. and was going back and forth on the ice and locked it up. And now it's kicking back down. I've had that same problem with me on another blaster. And it actually blew the crank and the top end and the cylinder and everything. So I, I know pretty much i got to split the cases on it. But it's got a full DG. I know it's been redone correctly. Shocks are really nice. Back plastic, some mint, recovered seat. Front brakes are brand new. New grips. It's got nice nice headlights on it. So basically, I figured I'd do the whole motor build on this one, get this one done so I could sell it a little f faster, and then do the Predator. And if the guy does not buy the KX, I'll probably do the KX. But yeah, so here's this. Tonight, it's 7 and 30. i got to get this motor ripped out and built within the next 45 minutes. Not built, but at least like a part so I can see what's up with it. I'm going to order the parts for it tonight. And... Um, Try to have it done by the end of this week. Today's Sunday. I'm going to try to have it done by the end of this week so I can have another blaster done. Then I can do the Predator because I really want to get that Predator done because I wanted to try to drive it with the big bore kit. But every time I shift and every time I hit the gas, the rear end flies everywhere and I'm afraid it's going to fall out on me. So I'm just going to wait till I get it done. 
Then I got the 660 apart and the 700. I have a brand new head for it, well, new to the bike. Now I'm just looking for a good deal on a cylinder. That way I can slap that motor together and slap it back in the frame. So a lot of projects are part in dis different stages, but since I got a great memory, I know exactly where everything goes, have not lost anything. So I'm really happy about that. So here's the blaster. Don't even know what year it is yet, so don't ask. I'll probably put it in the title. So I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.